Hi, today I'm going to show you how to set up Nextcloud on TrueNAS Scale. So, first, update TrueNAS Scale and ensure that your TrueNAS Scale system is updated and accessible via the web interface. Then, go to the App section that is App Tabs in TrueNAS Scale dashboard. Then, search for Nextcloud in the available application catalog. Then, select the Nextcloud application and click Install. Then configure settings like storage location and resource limits. Then map a dataset or folder on TrueNAS to store Nextcloud data to keep files safe across restarts. Then configure networking options and expose necessary ports. Defaults are 80 or 443 for web access. Then launch the Nextcloud and configure. So open the Nextcloud web, web interface via your TrueNAS scale IP and port to complete the initial setup including admin account and database setup. Then start adding users, uploading files and setting up sync clients on your device. And this setup provides you with a robust private cloud file storage and sharing platform managed directly from TrueNAS scale. Also, you can simply navigate to TrueNAS.com and in the documentation hub, search for Nextcloud. And here you will see installing the Nextcloud on a scale. So when you navigate here, you can easily follow these steps and install Nextcloud on a scale. As you can see, figure one says add Nextcloud storage. Then installing Nextcloud in a scale. So first, make sure that you add Nextcloud storage, then install Nextcloud in a scale. So go to apps and if the pool for apps is not already set, do it when prompted. Then when set, the install application screen displays app service running on the top screen banner. Then click discover apps and then locate the Nextcloud app. So search for Nextcloud in discover section of application and change the sort to app name. Then type Nextcloud in the search field to display the app widget. Now click on the widget to open the Nextcloud details screen. Then click install. If this is the first application installed, a scale displays a dialog box about configuring apps. So click on this confirm icon and click on agree. Now click install. That will be just right here on this page to open the install Nextcloud wizard. When you click on install, that will be just right here on this page. You'll be taken here where you can easily accept the default name for the app in the application name or enter a new name if you want to change what displays or have multiple Nextcloud app deployments on your system. This example uses the default Nextcloud. Now you can scroll down or click on the Nextcloud configuration to show the app configuration setting. For a basic installation, you can leave the default values in all setting except username and password. Then enter the username and password created in the before you begin section or for the existing Nextcloud administrator user account credentials. This example uses admin as the user. Now, after you do this, you'll have to click add to the right of the command to show the command field. Then click in that field and select install FFM PEG to automatically install the FFM FFmpeg utility when the container starts. Now, you can optionally follow these steps or just continue with it, then select the host path that already exists in your system, that is storage configuration. So basically do a storage configuration, select where the app will be installed and host and the host path will be. After you do this, you'll have to scroll down to the next cloud, Postgres backup storage, select host path, then enter or browse the path for PPG backup data set. So make sure that you configure the Nextcloud user data storage after you do this, accept the remaining setting default and the installed screen displays the Nextcloud app in the deploying state. It changes to running when ready to use, then click web portal on application info widget to open the Nextcloud web portal sign in screen. It will look something like this. After you do this, you would have successfully installed Nextcloud on TrueNAS scale. If you found this guide helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching.